Okay, previously, in the previous video we looked at uh, gamma. I want to look at um, vega. Vega is important for understanding option Greeks Wikipedia. Vega is important for understanding what is the effect on the value of an option for a given change in the value of the volatility or the Black Scholes volatility. Uh, so here, if we just uh, follow the link, uh, Vega measures sensitivity to volatility, and Vega is the derivative, the mathematical derivative of the option value with respect to the volatility of the underlying. So from a numerical perspective, we could think of the value of the option changing with respect to a given change in volatility. Um, and when we looked previously at uh, option sensitivities, we had considered the impact of volatility. So let's see if we can bring the link here. Um, I think it might be, we'll just try this one. So we're looking at what's the effect of changing the uh, volatility on the value of the option. Okay, so Vega, while well, that's loading up, Vega represents how the option changes as volatility changes. Um, in in the previous on this when we follow the link from uh, option Greeks and parameter sensitivities three we would have opened up this particular file and one of the things we can observe here is that um, if we just move across a little bit. This is for different levels of volatility, 10%, 20, 30, all the way to 50%. And the Black-Scholes parameter, the Black-Scholes parabola, tends to increase as the volatility increases. So as we move from the dark blue all the way right through to the light blue, uh, the value of the option, the value of the Black-Scholes parabola increases. Now, what Vega does, Vega describes that, it summarizes that neatly. We can write it mathematically and work out computationally uh, using this. But as a formula, as a Black-Scholes formula, Vega uh, can also be viewed as given by this. Uh, so the stock value E negative QT uh, we have the lower case phi, which means the probability density, and the square root of t, which is also equal to the exercise e negative rt, uh, lower case phi, denoting probability density, uh, d2, square root of t. So um, let's set that up in a new spreadsheet. And I'll go out of the link here. And go back into YouTube and any of the if I can just go up the screen is frozen for a second and let's see just try that again okay go up and try again okay so take any of the you can take the first one here and again what I'll do is I'll download and I'm interested in looking at the Vega so these are inactive so let's get out of here well let's open up this uh, Excel spreadsheet and enable and enable content and let's take this out for a moment so We'll delete those, and is there anything else there? No. So we just basically have uh, Black Scholes parameters, and then for a call and a put, and perhaps I should be writing call and put ut, 
and put here option value. Okay. And as we for the Vega, what we find is for both call and the put, we get the same uh, value. Uh, likewise for gamma. Okay, so we're looking at Vega. We're trying to interpret this Vega, what it means. Uh, okay, let's estimate initially the Vega for different stock prices. So as before, when we set up a Vega, we used a data table. And we're looking at a call here, and we're going to consider a different range, a range of different underlying values or stock prices. And we'll go to 200. And we'll have a look at the data tab, what if analysis, data table. It's a column of data. We're rerunning this Vega calculation for this column of date inputs. The original parameter input referring to stock price is 100. Hit OK, it fills in. And when we observe this, if we just have a look here at this, just for a graph scatter, what we'll see something similar to the gamma, but what this is basically, basically illustrating is that when the option is close to the exercise, remember the exercise is 100 here, the value, the, the effect of changing the volatility is greatest. So all the Vega values here are positive, but much more positive when we're close to the exercise. Okay, so um, how do we interpret that? Let's just move this for a second and go back. And we'll say here Vega, V E G A, and then put in the value of the call and equal to uh, the option value for the call is 100, is uh, 1045. And let's rerun this data table again, data tab. What if analysis, data table, the column, what in the initial parameter inputs uh, are we changing? It's the stock price or the asset value and it fills up. Uh, okay, I want to just have a look here at the effect of volatility on the option. So we'll compare Vega to the black shoulder parabola. Uh, Let's say equal the cell and we'll pull across and then pull this down. Okay, and we'll take some cells out. So we'll delete this and okay, we'll delete these and just call this Vega and the call. And then we'll just graph very quickly insert just to visualize what we've observed here okay so uh, what we have is the vega and we have the call black schultz parabola if we split let's um so uh, just to visualize what's happening here, um, let's copy, bring this chart up. Let's uh, copy. So home and copy, and we can paste below, home, paste. And what I'd like to do is, okay, we'll redimension just a little bit, just to give a little bit more ability to make the comparison between the two. First thing I'd like to do is to remove down here the Black-Scholes parabola 
and then up here remove uh, the Vega and then uh, down here I'm, I'm going to copy so copy and then I'll paste into paste special so I want to paste it as paste special and as a picture and then copy and bring it back so and the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I want to paste it as a picture and it's frozen and I'll just bring it up and it sits as such okay now just um, what I'd like to do is just observe what happens when we change the volatility where is the effect greatest will it be here will it be close to the exercise will it be here according to the Vega where Vega describes the option sensitivity to volatility it'll the greatest effect of changing the volatility input should be close to 100 a little bit less than the 100 okay so let's just try that and so we'll observe so if I change the 0 0.2 the volatility input for the call think of the option value this being the call if I change the 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 so let's try that again, 0 0.2, number lock, 0 0.2. So we go from 0 0.2 to 0 0.4. The red parabola should shift up, but shifts up most close to 100. If we bring this back down to 0 0.1, the biggest effect in terms of the black Scholes parabola is close to the exercise. If I shift it up to 0 0.8, right very unusual level of volatility again the effect is closest to the exercise and that's what the vega really is describing if i bring it back down to 0 0.2 we revert back to where we initially started so it's clear when you change the volatility the impact in terms of the option valuation will always be greatest or will it using vega the impact of on the option valuation will be closest to the exercise right and that's where Vega is useful right Vega in terms of us understanding what Vega means Vega implies that the option valuation is most sensitive where the option the uh, option is the when the stock price is closest to the exercise okay now uh, we might have a look at the just go to the vega call and take the code out vega call for well it's the same for the call of the put let's just copy and go back in to our spreadsheet and paste so that's the formula okay and we can see that this formula here corresponds to the um, the Vega given here so s e negative q t phi d1 right s square root of t by probability density function d1 e negative qt okay so uh, the formula corresponds with the wikipedia formula and our interpretation of vega is as we increase volatility the biggest impact is noticed around where the value of the stock or the underlying is closest to the exercise and that's captured here by the Vega. Okay.